Hey Gorgeouses, I'm Kapana from Kapana the Blog and this week it's all about the flat twist. So many of you have asked me how I actually managed to get it so neat and keep it for so long. Well this week I'm showing you exactly how to do it. I'm the type of person who likes to start with the end in mind. So I'm going to jump straight into showing you the method that I'm going to use to achieve this flat twist. You're basically going to repeat the same four steps over and over again until you complete the line. The beauty of this method is that it allows you to stretch every strand of hair as you twist it. It's perfect for people with tightly coiled short natural hair. As with many of my tutorials, I like to start on slightly damp hair. So, if you're too lazy to stretch or straighten your hair before protecting it, then this is perfect for you. I love using this method straight after washing and moisturizing my hair because it doesn't require any blow drying or straightening for me to achieve this look. I also like it because it lasts for 7 to 10 days without me having to redo it and this gives me a bomb twist out when I'm done. With that being said, let's break it down into four easy steps. Firstly, you need to get your hands into starting position. You're going to place one thumb on the one side of the line and the rest of your fingers on the other side of the line. You'll need these fingers to hold the hair and rotate the strands of hair in and out. Step 1. With your floating hand, you're going to grab a small section of hair. Step 2. With your floating hand, you're going to twist that small section of hair. Step 3. With the hand on the head, you're going to make space for the new section of hair. Step 4. You're going to place the new section of hair under your middle and ring finger. You're going to repeat the same four steps over and over again until you complete the line. Let's go over it again. So you're going to take a small section of hair and make sure it's nice and clean. You're going to twist it in your hand, make space for it, and place it under your middle and ring finger. Let's do it again. You're going to take a small section of hair, make sure that you take a nice clean section of hair. You're then going to twist it in your hand, make space for it on your head, and place it underneath your middle and ring finger. One more time. You're going to take a section of hair, make sure it's nice and clean and that you're not grabbing any extra pieces of hair. You're then going to twist it in your fingers, make space for it on your head and place it under your middle and ring finger. And repeat. As you can see, this method makes it easy for me to stretch my hair as I twist it. That's what makes it perfect for short, super kinky natural hair. I don't have to damage my hair by straightening it or working on it whilst it's dry. Here it is in real time. This method works beautifully on my hair. Once you get used to repeating the steps, you will be able to achieve this look in less than 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes me 10 minutes. It's time to see the complete look and for me to show you how I achieved this awesome twist out. First things first, we need some water to just spray on the hair to make sure that it is nice and manageable. Um, I already have washed my hair and I've done an oil treatment on it so it is ready for a protective style. So next I'm grabbing my rat tail comb so that I can start dividing the lines that I want. I'm going to be drawing four lines on my head starting from the middle and then, once I'm in the middle, I'm going to basically use this corner of my hair to give me an indication of where I need to be plaiting my hair. Okay. 
Okay, cool. So I kind of want my line to be a bit like cute and go around like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm not necessarily going to take the line completely straight like this. I'm basically going to follow the line of my hair and then just round the line. This is all up to you. If you want, if you don't want to round the line, you don't have to. I am because I think it looks cute. Okay, so now that I've basically parted the lines that I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use clips to just make sure that the hair doesn't get in the way. So now that the hair is out of the way, now I'm going to basically prep my hair so that it is nice and sleek when I plait it. Remember we're doing a two strand twist, but I'm going to be putting my one hand on top of my hair like my other tutorial. If you haven't seen it yet, then click over here. I'm going to start by spraying a bit of water on my hair to make sure that it's slightly damp and easy to manage. I'm going to use my fingers to straighten and detangle. Next, I'm applying Design Essentials Leave-In Conditioner to moisturize and add slip to my hair. I'm using a wide tooth comb to detangle. Then I'm using a brush to detangle a little more. Finally, I'm using a bit of gel to the sides to keep it neat. So now I'm ready to get going. I'm just going to position my hand into the starting position and then I'm going to follow those four steps over and over again. This is pretty simple, especially once you understand it and you can do it with your left and your right hand. Just follow the same instructions that I gave you at the beginning. If you want to see that again, then follow the timestamp down below or I'll put it on the screen and you can just rewind and go back there. Now every single time I start a fresh line, I'm going to pour some water on it to make sure that it's nice and slightly damp and easy to manage. I'm going to use that aloe gel to make sure that my hair stays in place and looks good throughout the whole life of this hairstyle. And I'm going to make sure that my hair is really good and detangled. Having detangled hair before you do this really helps you to make sure that the lines are nice and flat. You know with, with flat twists, you sometimes have flat twists that raise off the head. But with this one, it's nice and flat and that's why it lands so beautifully and lasts for so long. As you can see, I have super thick, kinky, natural 4C hair. So the fact that I am able to do this on my hair while it's damp without having to stretch it is absolutely amazing. I love these clips that I got from Dischem. They were super cheap and they really do work for this. I prefer this over using the ribbons. So use this if you need to. Like I said, super cheap at Dischem and they came with, I think, four in a pack. Now I have very short um, hairline like hair on my baby hair section so I usually deal with that when I finish off my edges which I'll do a little later but for now I'm just making sure that I keep my hair nice and tight and follow those same four steps over and over again to complete each and every one of my flat twist lines. As I said before, this flat twist is able to last for at least 7 days and you can keep it for longer if you keep it nice and neat every time you go to sleep. So this is what I do with the hair at the back. Sometimes I tie it and sometimes I leave it loose. It just really depends on me. So it looks like I am done. I'm just checking on those lines and everything looks nice and neat. But you know, no hairdo is done without them edges, girl. So I'm going to pull out the Design Essentials Edge Tamer and get to laying those edges flat because no hairdo is done without those finishing touches. Listen girls, do not tame your edges after putting your makeup on or else you'll have this white residue in your hair and you do not want that, especially after you just completed this beautiful flat twist. Do your edges first, let them set and then do your makeup. Trust me, you'll thank me later. So as usual, I used some cloth or a scarf to lay my edges flat until they dried. And here's the big reveal. Look at that, I love it. It looks absolutely amazing. It finished off exactly the way I wanted to. My head is symmetrical, the lines look beautiful, and this looks like it will last for days. 
So here's one final look at what the finished product looks like. Remember, if you want to see those tips, head straight to the beginning of the video to see it again. And if you want those tips in step-by-step -step formation written out with pictures, then head over to my website, kopanatheblog.co.za, and you can download a written tutorial. Now you know no video is done without those selfies, so here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, beautiful people. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely share it with a friend. I'm Kapana from Kapana the Blog, and I just did the things.